Um, I think um, in the second half, you know, we just decided to really, you know, sit down and get stops on defense and, and string stops together. And I think when we do that, it allows us to get out in transition, you know, and get easy baskets. And um, I think it translated well for us. Um, I think, you know, he just continues to get better in every area. And um, his confidence has really risen. Um, he, he plays point guard for us at times. Um, you know, he can knock down open shots. Um, everybody's seen the game. He, you know, had that, that monster double-double. So as he continues to get better, I think, so will the team. Okay. So what happened, Juwan? You missed the shot. Oh, <coughs> uh, I did. <laughs> um, Probably looking at the film, my feet probably weren't right. My left right probably wasn't as good as it could have been um, because usually I would have hit that. So. Um, I was just playing confident. Uh, my teammates always have confidence in me to keep pushing, uh, keep working, and just getting better every day is why I came here. So. Yeah, that's just something, you know, that that guys have, you know, really bought into. And um, I think it's got, gotten contagious, you know, throughout the team. And I think, you know, good teams do that. So, um, you know, we obviously want to be a good team and, you know, we want to have good ball, ball moving and things like that. And that's, you know, one of the things that you have to do. Oh, I mean, if I could block every shot, I'd like to do it. So, yeah. I think just being in the right spot at the right time and making the extra pass and not think about it, uh, those two just go in together. I think that's one of the best things I'm at. And then also just the, the mentality side of it, just being confident, um, knowing my teammates will find me, knowing that, um, like I said before, uh, just running hard, uh, they'll find you over the top or just making the back cut and they'll find you there and they'll always put you in the position to score. I think just uh, personally, he was making the right plays, and he just wasn't finishing. And um, I know early on that was my big uh, issue too, just getting down on myself, knowing I was missing shots that I could have been making. And as he started to see him drop and he started to see that we weren't losing confidence in him, like he was getting to the basket and things like that, and he just had to put the ball in the hole. And as he started doing that, uh, we never lost confidence in him. And as it starts to build, uh, so is his continued growth. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely think so. You know, uh, sitting out for a year and then having to come, um, you know, and step on the team as a starter with a new team. Um, but you know, I think as we continue to grow, you know, our chemistry will, and and so is his lead, show will his leadership skills. Um, I think that's something that'll be big for us. You know, him really commanding the offense, you know, and getting guys in the right spots um, will be something you know that helps us get better. We hit all the little things that even in those those stretch of games, um, there was a lot of great things we did, but there was a lot of things that we could work on. And in those practices, we were just working on those things. And uh, we really got after each other, making each other better. And that's what we continue to do every day. We have to keep getting better each and every day and not let a day go by. Because you either get better or you get worse. You never stay the same.
does that help you also? I mean, it just, it just, you know, makes it that much easier, you know, for the ball movement, um, you know, to get in the lane. You know, when you have a guy like that, that's a constant threat, you know, it just makes it easy on everybody. Yeah, the key would just be, you know, coming in every day and um, getting after it like we did this past week. Um, you know, we'll have a set of things that we really want to work on, you know, as the week progresses. And I think, you know, if we really lock in and focus on that and um, just try to get better day to day, you know, we'll be where we want to be by the time, you know, the next game comes. Well, since the gentleman hasn't answered the question, we're not going to get out of here that easy. Okay? <laughs> I'll throw you a softball, though. Did, did you feel like your guys' legs had more jump? over five days of not playing and feeling fresh? Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, yes, I think I think so, too. Uh, we really just really working this whole week on things we didn't, we needed to fix on. But I feel like, yeah, we have fresh legs coming into the game. Uh, this past practice week, um, we really were taking responsibility, um, not just having the coaches do it, but responsibility for each other. Uh, in practice, if we were just making like dumb turnovers, we were getting on to each other. And I think that's why we had like probably one of the more competitive weeks I've, since I've been here. And just doing that, it translates to the game because it's a lot harder in practice going against somebody that knows exactly what you're about to do as far as plays um, than it is in the game. And we like to try to make practice a lot harder than the games. That way, uh, it'll flow together once we get into the games. No, nah, but thank you for reminding them, though. <laughs> so, uh, for any of you guys, can you talk about what Zach brings to the floor, especially defensively? <clears throat> um, I think Zach, you know, is just a guy that's, you know, well aware. His awareness is really high on defense. Um, and as his, his, as his feet continues to get better, I think, you know, to, to give him an opportunity to play even more. And I think that'll be something that's good for us because he's just, you know, such a smart player that, you know, he helps everybody on the court. Um, not that I know. I'm just um, just playing, <laughs> really. Just whenever my time is called to get in the game, I just go all out, play 100%. And then when I'm sub, I just try to be ready every moment.